welcome back to Prim for Your Life. Um, I'm a little out of breath. I literally just got home from the Dollar Tree and I have a haul for you. It's a collective haul. So um, it's from two different stores and two different shopping trips. Um, ooh, I'm sitting by a window so I just saw we have carpenter bees at our house right now and they're huge. Like they look like birds. <laughs> Sometimes out of the corner of your eye if you're not paying attention. It literally looks like a bird like swooping in. But anyway, um, yeah, I have no makeup on. I am in like comfy clothes because it was my day at home today and I've been cleaning and doing laundry and nesting, I guess you could say. Um, if you're new to my channel and you are just tuning in, first of all, welcome, but um, just in case you didn't know, I am expecting we're 35 weeks pregnant today, actually, and yeah, so we're almost nine months pregnant, which is crazy. I can't believe it. Um, so if I seem out of breath or I just look a little run down, it's because I've been so tired, you guys. It's not even funny. Um... I just, the weather here is getting warmer, which I love, but it's just causing me to feel more sluggish. Yeah, so like I said, this is a collective Dollar Tree haul, two different trips. Um, we have a Dollar Tree really close to our house. It's about, I want to say like five, ten minutes away. And that one is small, but it's really well maintained. And so it's kind of the one I hit up if I need like the regular items that I usually buy at Dollar Tree like you know cotton balls and q-tips and toothpaste and things like that um, and I, every once in a while they'll get some new things not too often though um, I'm surprised though sometimes and they have like the things that you guys are all hauling that are awesome and I'm so excited um, and they did today I just didn't I don't know I didn't grab some of them that I thought I would but We'll get into that a little later. Um, and then the other Dollar Tree that I go to, it's actually in a city near me and um, more like a city area, I guess you could say. And it's a big Dollar Tree. It actually has like the freezer section and refrigerated food section in it. Um, and I love going there. The only thing is, and I don't know why, this store is always a mess. Like they're, ugh, it's horrible you guys like they don't keep things on the shelves um people open things all the time it's really dirty and um I kind of feel like I have to rummage through things and then I kind of want to take a shower after I leave not not that the people that work there are dirty or anything like that it's just I feel like people don't respect that store it's just a mess um and it kind of makes me upset because products get ruined that you know especially makeup and things like that get ruined um so anyway, that's my little rant. But I have to say I'm jealous of you Floridians because my parents just got back about two weeks ago from their vacation. Um, they were down in Florida and my mom visited a Dollar Tree while she was there because I've gotten her hooked on Dollar Tree and she said it was amazing. It was huge and really clean and one of the nicest ones she's ever seen. So now I feel like I need to go to Florida just to visit Dollar Tree. That's a long trip from Pennsylvania just for a Dollar Tree, but I would probably do it. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get into the haul before this is forever long. This probably will be a long haul, I'm just warning you. So grab a drink, grab a snack, sit down, relax, chill out with me as we look at all the goodies that I bought. Um, the first thing, I'm not going in any type of order. I'm just kind of grabbing. I didn't have this in the bag because I didn't want it to get crushed. Um, but I picked up one of these little chocolate, it's that, dropping it on the floor. It's a little box that looks kind of like a birdhouse, and it's purple on the inside. And then it has, it says, what does it say on top? Chocolate, or chocolate, plain. I can't read it, I think it's in Italian. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this or not. Um, but it has this beautiful bird here on the front and just kind of like that European looking theme, which I love. Um, and there's like a teacup on the side. This is very me, my style. Um, I love this kind of thing. If I could decorate my house with birds and teacups and 
uh, like very cottagey looking things, I would. So I picked that up. I'm not sure where it's going to go yet, but I had to have it. My mom actually got one too because she likes the pattern so much. Um, and then to go along with that, they had these tea towels. Oh my gosh, you guys. They have some really cute tea towels right now. And I've seen some people hauling them. Um, and I can't find all of the patterns, but they did have this one. Um, put the bag down here. They did have this one, which matches that um, birdhouse I just showed you. So like that. And they also had a notebook. Um, the birdhouses came in three different sizes, in case you're interested. That is the medium-sized one. There was a larger one and then a little baby one. Um, and I didn't test to see if, like, they nested inside of each other or not, but... I just got the I just got one of them because I wasn't sure where I was gonna put it and I'm trying so hard you guys to make sure that I don't buy something unless I know I'm going to use it because we don't have a lot of storage here at our house and I don't want to just buy junk <laughs> um, I tend to do that like I'll just grab things because I get excited and then I get it home and then it sits and I end up giving it away so I'm trying not to waste my dollars but I want to put this in our bathroom. I thought it would look really pretty, which is where I'm thinking I'm going to put this as well for decoration. We don't have a ton of decoration in there, and um, I don't know. It's kind of a weird color. The people that lived here before us painted it like a burgundy, which I'm sorry if you like burgundy. It's just not my color, and um, so I just need some things to like brighten it up a little bit. This probably will clash. I don't care. It's cute and I really like it. I also picked up, and this I absolutely love you guys, this is totally me, um, this tea towel here with grapefruit and oranges on it. It's so pretty, the hot pink and the orange, I love it. Um, I am definitely putting this in the kitchen. I have always wanted like a bright, happy kitchen with like yellow and pink and yeah, I know I'm weird, but um, I've always wanted a bright kitchen. So. Um, this is just going to go in there to kind of make it more happy. Um, and then to match that, I picked up one of the microfiber drying towels or drying mats. Um, we usually just lay a towel down. I have like a double sink that has a drying rack in one half of it. And then I lay a towel out for the glasses because we don't have a dishwasher. We wash everything by hand. Um, so I'm going to use this in place of the dish towel so that my counter doesn't get as soaked. Um, it's not super super thick but it does feel like it would be pretty absorbent so I'm excited to use that I think it'll look really cute on the counter as well um I also picked up for my hospital bag um two of these pillow cases these are the satin pillow cases from the home collection and I got them in the hot pink shade because my uh, robe and nighty that my husband got me and my slippers and my headband um, that I'm wearing either after labor or during labor I'm not sure what I'll be wearing when um, but it will match these so I know I want to match everything um, but the hospital suggested bringing pillowcases that were recognizable and then also that aren't super important because labor can be messy um and I didn't want something that I would be super upset if something happened to it and I actually got this idea from Tina from Frug Frugal Fun and Fabulous um she's also expecting if you guys haven't watched her channel you really should because she has some great ideas this woman is super organized you guys like she helps me be more organized um, because I don't think of these things on my own, um, but she was suggesting these, and I think she got hers in, like, a blue pattern. I couldn't find that pattern. It was pretty, but this works out better for me anyway because it'll match my nightgown, but, um, she was suggesting to get these for that reason, so, yeah, I took her advice and picked those up. Um, I will try to link her channel down below if you guys are interested in watching her. You really should. Um... I also picked up for our hospital bag um, some deodorants, one for my husband. This is just the 24-hour freshness maximum confidence speed stick fresh deodorants. Um, this is the deodorant my husband uses. And then I got myself just the lady speed stick in powder fresh or invisible dry powder. Oh, no, it's invisible dry power in powder fresh is the um, scent. 
and this says it has 24 hour protection. I am going to be honest, I don't usually buy this deodorant because I don't like to use deodorants that have aluminum in them because I've heard that it can cause a lot of health problems and it also can stain your underarms. I've never had that problem, um, but I just try to avoid it. But I thought for labor, for um, this particular reason, it might be nice to have something that's a little stronger and um, making me feel less yucky because I have a feeling I'm not going to be feeling super glamorous while pushing out a baby. So that'll help me not at least be stinky. All right, let's see here. What else? Oh, I did get these. I was so excited. Um, who was it? I was just watching. Claire Slate here on YouTube, another big Dollar Tree hauler. I'm just going to start uh, telling you guys people I love to watch. But Clara hauled a bunch of these scarves, and um, she had, I don't think she had this particular pattern, but she had, like, floral ones. I cannot find them anywhere, you guys, and I love floral, floral print. That's one of my most favorite floral prints. And then she had, like, a chevron one that was really cool. Um, but... I am on the hunt for these scarves. I don't know if I've missed out or not. My store is just not getting them in. But this was the only print they had other than, um, like, the American flag ones, which are cool and all, but, I mean, I, I don't need that that particular pattern. Not that I, I'm not patriotic. I just, I would rather not wear the flag. Um, but I got two of them because I've heard that if you double them up, they look a little bit more floofy um, and I want to make like an infinity scarf they're quite thin on their own um, I can see if I can show you I really liked this pattern though it's kind of like a nautical nautical looking pattern but if you see what I mean they're quite they're quite sheer so for me you know I mean I guess you could you could actually get away with just one of them if you really wanted to. I would double it up like that. Um, and that's just one. These are actually fuller than the other ones that they used to have. Maybe that's, I don't know. But what I was going to do is double them up with this one and make like a nice really full looking scarf. So I thought that would be fun for summertime and I like all the colors on it. Um, I picked up a cheap pair of earphones um, for my husband. He is a construction worker. Well, not construction worker. He's a painter, but he works on construction sites. And um, his headphones and things like that, because he does a lot of prepping um, and drywall and stuff like that, his headphones always get, like, uh, ruined really, really quickly. And so it doesn't make sense to buy him expensive ones, and these work. He likes to listen to podcasts. Um while he's working. So I just picked these up for him and he'll be happy that I did this haul so he can <laughs> take these with him because he's been wanting to use them. Um, I picked up another one of these magnetic list pads. It just has like this polka dot pattern on it. I love these. They have a magnet on the back. I stick them in my fridge for grocery lists, just for to-do lists, whatever. Um, I usually have a couple of these on my fridge at a time. Um, and I had one that I was using for a grocery list. I still have it. And so I kind of wanted one just for like a to-do list so that I don't have to, you know what I mean. So I can write a to-do list and have my grocery list on the same time. I don't have to like rip a piece of paper off. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? You guys, you know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> got that. Um, they have these really cute little candle holders. This is the first time I've seen this color. They always have pink usually pink at my store and then like a purple color but um and I love pink but I really love this color we're going to be painting our bedroom um kind of like a pale style yellow and I want to have accents of um like bright colors to go with it I love having pale walls and then like really bright bold accent colors with like the decor so um, I thought I could stick this on my little nightstand. I have a candle to go in it already that is kind of ugly, but smells good. So I thought I could stick it in this and make it more pretty. Um, I finally found some of this washi tape, the glitter ones that are like a pattern um, that have like the clear backing. 
um, and I've been wanting this one. It's the blue one. Um, I don't think these have names or anything like that, do they? Are they named or numbered? No, I don't think. But um, they had other colors. I just, I'm trying so hard, you guys, not to buy too much at a time. Um, so I just picked up this one because this is the color I really liked and the pattern that I really liked as well. So I got that. Um, for my hubby, <laughs> hopefully he won't get too embarrassed. Um, I got him these Quality Odor Stopper Foam Cushion Insoles. These actually work. Um, my husband wears work boots that don't breathe and don't let his feet breathe because they have to wear like really heavy duty boots when they're on construction sites um, to meet safety codes and things like that. And the poor guy works really long hours, <laughs> long days. And let's just say when you're working and you're sweaty, your feet kind of smell. Um, and you know, he works outside sometimes too in the elements. So you get what I'm saying. Um, but we were looking for something to just kind of help, um, you know, make it a little bit better. And he already, we are already purchased these before and they work. They also provide some cushion to his feet. The only thing is you have to change them pretty frequently because the padding does wear out pretty quick. Um, but they do help to absorb moisture and they do help to prevent like a really stinky smell to the shoe. So um, I definitely recommend these for a dollar if you need them. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> hopefully he doesn't get embarrassed that I was talking about that. Um, I also picked up another one of these organizers. I had hauled one before in a blue color or no, I actually have this color as well, green and I have it back there. Um, using these as little diaper caddies um, for the baby. So I have one over there by his changing station that I'm using just to organize his diapers, wipes, and like um, butt cream. And then this one is gonna go downstairs in his pack and play. Um, so I have a changing station downstairs and a changing station upstairs. So that's what that is for. These are really nice too, by the way. The handle and somebody suggested I forget your name but it was on my last video I think it was when I actually hauled the last one that I got she said she used hers for bath um, time for her little one and I should have got another one because I, I wanted to but I had like a pregnancy brain moment but um, I think I'm gonna get one more if I can find it in this color for bath stuff as well because I think that's really smart to be able to like carry it um, from your shelf to the bathtub and have all the things that you need in it. So I thought that was a good idea. All right. I picked up one of these essential jumbo blanket storage bags. Um, we have a bunch of comforters that we're not using right now because it's warm out. And I have a chest at the end of my bed that keeps most of the blankets, but there's some of them that are just way too big. Um, so I think what I'd like to do is try, and I don't know how big this is, you guys. I'm going to open this up so we can see. I was going to get two, and then I just grabbed one just in case it's really crappy. Um, but I thought I could... Ooh, has a has a really interesting smell. I thought I could use this to store the blanket in and then um, just put it under the bed so it doesn't get ruined. It feels very, very thin, like there's not much to it. Yeah, you're going to have to be careful with this if you use it. Let's see here. It kind of feels like the texture of a... Uh, garbage bag but more of like a heavier duty garbage bag but I'm pretty sure I could easily tear this um, so I would be careful um, let's see here I'm gonna see if the zipper works okay so to give you an idea of size it's, let's see if I can back up here. It's quite big. I don't know if this is going to fit 
my quilt or not. And then the opening, the opening is quite big as well. I will, I'll tell you what, I'm going to try and put my quilt in this and then I will Instagram a picture and let you guys know how this works if you're interested. Um, definitely does not feel high quality at all. I wasn't expecting high quality. Um, I just want something to kind of keep the dust and dirt off of my comforter under our bed. So, um, I will let you guys know. I will post, like I said, an Instagram picture. And like always, my Instagram is linked down below. So if you guys want to follow me, you should because I post pictures. And especially if you want to keep up with the pregnancy, um, when Liam does arrive, I'm... You know, I'm, I'm not going to be vlogging everything um, right away, so if you want to keep up with that and know when he comes, you might want to be following me on Instagram because I will definitely be posting pictures there. So that is what this is. Um, that's that bag. And this is, like I said, it's the Jumbo Blanket Storage Bag, and it's the Essentials brand. So we'll see how that works. I will keep you guys updated. Okay. Um... Ooh, this is already a long video, you guys. Bear with me. All right. I also picked up the Assured 100% Pure Cotton 3-in-1 Cotton Set. You get two little um, slots that have the Q-tips in, um, some cotton pads, and then some cotton balls right here. So cotton pads, cotton balls. Um, this is not particularly a good deal as far as the amount that you're getting. I just grabbed this because I wanted something to set on our vanity that would keep all of our stuff organized. So what I can do is refill this um, and it will just keep all of our, you know, cotton pads and things like that organized. So that's why I picked that up. The container is, I mean, it's kind of cheap, but it does the job. It keeps it organized. We don't like display them. I have like a basket that they sit in. So that's what that is for. Um, I picked up a pair of the Sassy, Sassy and Chic hair trimming scissors. Um, I like these just for if I need to like trim dead ends off or something like that. Um, and my husband can use these also like if he wants to trim up his sideburns or whatever, you know. So it's just good to have these on hand. And we had had a pair but they disappeared so I grabbed another one. Um, I got my husband, they have power stick spray deodorants, um, and he's almost out of the deodorant that he has in our bathroom, so I got this one to replace it, and it smells really nice, so hopefully he'll like that. I thought he could give it a try and see if it's any good. Um, okay, let's pull some of this stuff out here. All right. I also picked up this Acne Free Energizing Acne Cleanser in Iced Orange Mint. And Acne Free is actually a legit brand. It's not a Dollar Tree brand. Um, and I saw some people hauling this and I actually want to, I haven't smelled this yet. It smells good. It has like a really fresh minty scent. Um, but I got this for my husband because I figured... I, I don't use acne um, medication on my face um, because I only get the occasional breakout and I usually will treat it with witch hazel or um, I have like a mask that I'll put on. It's the Queen Helen uh, Mint Julep Mask and that works great for me. Um, whereas my husband does struggle with a little bit of acne, not too bad, but I don't know. I just thought this might work really well for him. So um, he was running out of his face cleanser, but... So I picked that up and I will let you guys know if he likes that or not. Um, I also, oh, I was excited to find these, you guys. Um, my Dollar Tree got in a bunch of these little Tide Simply Clean and Fresh um, uh, laundry soaps. And it's in the scent Freshing, Refreshing Breeze. And each of these does six loads. And I figured... I picked up three of them, um, so that's like, what, 18 loads? Am I going to make myself sound really stupid? 12, yeah, 18 <laughs> loads. That's 18 loads of laundry. Um, I was going to pick up more, but Tide is like ridiculously expensive, and it does really do a good job of getting stains out. Um, I do prefer it to other laundry detergents if it's on sale, but I don't usually buy it um, 
just because it is expensive. But I thought these would hold us over for a while, um, for a little while um, anyway. So yeah, I don't know how great of a deal it is, but I was excited because it's tied and it was only a dollar. <laughs> um, I also picked up this uh, Renew Zit. I love these, you guys. I am obsessed with these now. Um, I got myself one during the fall and I didn't like it because I put it in our kitchen and I didn't open it properly. Um, my mom kind of showed me then that I didn't have it open enough um, to get the scent out. And I find though that these limited edition ones, um, they are really, really strong and have amazing throw of the scent. So I have one of the garden ones in our bathroom now and it just like crapped out. So it's time to replace it. And I've had it in there for almost a month, you guys. So um, this one is gonna go in there and it's the fresh berry or juicy berry scent. It smells so, so good. If you like fruity scents, you will love this. Um, but yeah, it works really well in our bathroom. So I like it. They're better for small spaces, but I like, I like them for our bathroom because I don't like to leave candles burning um, just in case something would happen. So those are nice because I don't have to worry about anything burning down. Um, the last things that I have here are makeup items and um, I picked up, let's see here, I picked up two of these Milani Easy liners. Um, they are the retractable lip liners and I was really excited you guys because I got, let's see here, I got one in like a rosy pink shade and then I got one in red and I have been needing a red lip liner. I don't have a red lip liner and I do like to wear red lip occasionally. Um, in the summertime especially, I enjoy it. I, I don't know, I like bright red lips in the summertime. It makes me think of like 4th of July and stuff like that. I like them at Christmas time too, but. So I got two shades. Um, I got this rose pink and that looks like this. It is a true rosy pink. It's more on the red side than it is straight up pink. And then I also got this one here in cherry pie, which is like a brighter red. And this is the type of color that I like for summer. It's like an orangey red. So that is beautiful. These are creamy. Milani lip liners are awesome if you haven't tried them. So I'm really, really excited about those. And then I got a bunch of the BB lips that everybody's been hauling. Um, I got four of them. There was a lot more and I probably could have grabbed, I'm pretty sure my store had all the flavors. Um, I just didn't want to spend that much money on these because um, I wasn't sure if I would like them or not. So I got them in the flavor peach. Strawberry, which looks like that. Bubblegum. This was my favorite of the packaging. It's like a bright pink. And I'll open these for you guys in a minute. And grape, which looks like that. So they also had a vanilla one. They had a cherry one. And I want to say there might have been a fruit punch. I don't know. But the vanilla was like brown. Uh, brown. Uh, like the color of the actual balm was brown. And the packaging was like, I think like a greenish color, I want to say. And that one didn't really, oops, that one didn't really appeal to me. Um, I don't know. I like vanilla scents okay, but they're not my favorite. I'm more of a fruity scent person. Um, so I will go ahead and swatch these for you. I don't think that they all put off color, but this is the one in peach. It looks like that. And it does smell like peach. It's not as strong as the peach baby lip one. And this one has absolutely no color at all. Um, which is fine. Um, and it does say that these have vitamin E and shea butter in. This is the grape one. This one smells so good. This smells like straight up big league grape chew. Like the bubble gum. Do you know what I'm talking about? The big league 
chew bubble gum. That's what this smells like. So if you build that up, you can kind of see there's a slight tint to it. Oh, it smells so good. Um, the strawberry one looks like that. Now I'm really building these up. So the strawberry one has like a slight pink tint to it. And then this is the bubblegum one. Oh, and the strawberry one. It has a, a really light scent. The strawberry and the peach don't have a very strong scent. You can tell they're fruit scented, but it's like a hint. The grape one is really strong. And this is the bubble gum one. This is what it looks like. I don't know, guys. I'm not really, I'm not really getting bubble gum from that. Okay, this one has a slight, slight tint, but nothing crazy. Let's see, I'll put it on here. Yeah, you really can't tell a difference. Um, they are not sticky. They feel like a really nice moisturizing balm. It doesn't feel like a gloss, it just feels like it has like a similar texture to almost like a Blistex. It's not really, you know how the Revos are a little bit more like of a glossy feel, like not sticky glossy, but like a, a slip, they have like a slip to them. This has more of a, um, it's a little more emollient feeling, like has a little bit more body to it, but it's not sticky at all. It feels nice. I think these would be pretty moisturizing. They feel pretty good. Um, but yeah, so, and they don't really have a taste at all, which is nice. Um, so I would recommend them. I think they're they're cute for what they are. They're not they're not as pigmented as the baby lips. But to be honest, you guys, I've had the baby lips um, balms, and yes, they have pigment and they're pretty, um, but they're really not hydrating on my lips at all. I find that they actually dry my lips out. So um, we'll have to see how these do. I'll have to keep you guys posted and let you know. Um, but anyway, that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. I'm sorry it was so, so long, but that was a lot of stuff to show you guys. Um, but if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. Um, also, keep your eyes open for a... I have a couple videos coming your way that I'm working on. Um, I'm going to be doing a what's in my uh, diaper bag video for the hospital. Um, I have a what's in my hospital bag hopefully coming your way. And um, I'm going to try and do a nursery tour before Liam's born. So that's my goal. Um, the vanity tour is still coming. It's just probably going to have to be after Liam's here. I don't know for sure if I'll have time to do it before because baby stuff, I just really want to get baby stuff out of the way um, and done because I don't, I want to be able to look back on that and remember and um, have those memories. So the makeup stuff is kind of on hold right now, um, but I'm still into makeup. I'm still going to be doing videos. Don't worry, that's not going away altogether. Um, my, my focus is just baby right now. So anyway, that's everything. So I hope you guys are doing well. Remember that you are loved, you are beautiful, you are special and unique, and no one can tell you any different. And I'll talk to you guys later.